Ian, uh, what's, what, what are your thoughts heading into this one, a big rivalry game uh, against Michigan? Um, we're super excited. I've never been down to Michigan myself, but you know, growing up, I feel like that's a place you dream of playing. And, um, it's going to be a lot of people. It's going to be loud. We're excited, and you know, we're especially, you know, we just want to get a big win uh, on a road game. So it's big for us, and uh, I just, you can tell everyone this week is extremely pumped up, excited, and confident. What did you guys learn in that Georgia experience now that can help you in terms of cadence, loudness, and all that that can help this time? Yeah, just overall, really embracing uh, all the elements. Obviously, Georgia was extremely loud, and we had a couple of cadence issues. You know, we fixed that. We worked on that this by week, and um, you know, this week as well. So, um, yeah, just being able to embrace all those elements for some of those guys who haven't played in huge loud games like that. You know, just finding a way to. You know, calm down and have fun with it. It's going to be awesome. That, 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 we like when it's really loud. We like when there's a lot of people there. We like when it's, you know, prime time television. So that's the point, and that's why we come to Notre Dame. When you have to work on things like that in practice, it, does it get to the point of annoyance because you have to do it so much that it's like enough already? But then you have to do it even a little bit more to make sure you got it. Yeah, um, yeah, it definitely gets repetitive, but it ends up hearing just kind of like white noise you can't even hear. But that's the point. It's it's got to get you ready for it. And, um, that's what's necessary to, you know, be prepared for um, Saturday night. What do you see from their defense? Uh, they're extremely aggressive. Um, they bring a lot of pressure, and um, you know, they have a lot of man-to-man, one-on-one. So it's up to us to, you know, make the big play when it's needed. That's how you win big games. So, you know, I trust our guys to go out there, and it's up to me to deliver the ball. Ian, coming off the the bye week, um, you know, the offense is playing really well, um, and you talked about you working on the cadence uh, during the bye week. That kind of uh, anything specifically that you guys are working on, you know, without getting into too much detail mm-hmm. about uh, how y'all are preparing for Michigan uh, with extra time? Yeah. Um, in terms of cadence or anything? Just anything, yeah. Um, you know, nothing too specific. The coaches have done a great job of, you know, putting us in the right position with this, this week's game plan. It's really just about, you know, being able to have two weeks now um, to focus on that game plan and uh, just repetition, really. And just keep working on our chemistry with the receivers. Keep going through all the looks, film study with you know with all the quarterbacks, and being able to dive deep into their defense and understand every play, what's going on. And after playing in, in some big games now, being quarterback with this team, uh, is playing in a big environment like that? And you talked about yeah, you kind of live for those moments, but is it one of those things where you know it's it's kind of in the forefront, or is it sort of kind of you put it behind you to focus more on the game? Um, you always just want to focus on the game, but you know it's hard not to just get extremely excited for that when there's you know 110,000 people screaming. And that's that's why you come to Notre Dame. Come to Notre Dame is playing games like that. So you just got to find a way to you know have fun out there and get excited about it. We got all these people watching. It's gonna be great. And, um, you know we've practiced so hard. It's that it's Saturday night is our night to go out there. And, you know show everyone show everyone our preparation and, and uh, you know how we do things. So you just got to find a way to get excited for it instead of make it too big of a deal. Think the bye week came at a good time. I do, really good time, just to kind of you know get everybody rested up, and uh, you know now two weeks to prepare for someone is always better. Finish with Megan and the O line getting to the honor roll list for midseason. How great is it to have that storm of protection? Uh, it's awesome. You know, I trust. You know, our O line does such a great job. Um, you know, they keep me safe, and I trust all those guys. Um, whatever play it is to, you know, do their responsibility, and I'm super proud of them. It's an awesome accomplishment, and. Um, I know they're excited, and we got a half a season to keep going, but they've done a great job, and um, I really just trust those guys, and there's so much leadership already um, with all all five of them, so it, it's great. I couldn't ask for anything more. Awesome. Thank you, Ian. Awesome. Thank you.